Sorry. <laughs> oh, don't cry. <laughs> Now I'm crying. I'm like, God damn it! <laughs> no, don't cry. I'm still getting some of these apples. Yo, what is good, man? I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I... I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I used to beat my sh religiously. I go to church every day, man. Every day. I used to beat my sh so much that he has friction burns, bro. I, I swear to God. They don't think Lil J was gonna make it. And yes, I call it Lil J. If you think it's corny, then f you. But basically, I'm trying to say that sh this shit real out here, man. People are dying over this. Sh Let's be honest, nobody dying over this. This shit real out here, man. This shit is a, is legit an addiction. Just like smoking, just like eating, just like drinking liquor. Porn releases dopamine for your brain, man. It's, it's just another form of drug, right? It's, that's why it can be addicted or addictive. So as y'all know, I'm going in a new direction with this channel, man. This channel is gonna be more open to making the world a better place and helping my guys out, man. Helping my n out, you know what I'm saying? So it's 2022, man. You gotta stop it. No more. 2022, man. You gotta keep going. No, no, no. Don't, don't keep going. What am I saying? You gotta stop doing that shit, man. Leave that shit back in 2021, man. You don't need that in this year. Don't let it control you. Control it. So I came across this video. It's called Lana Rose Regrets Doing Porn. We all know to this day that she does regret it. She did a lot of horrible stuff. <laughs> Bro, she did some of the most hardcore shit in porn, and she was like the number one search porn star for a while, and I think she still is. It's so big. But she quit porn, you know what I'm saying? She got a whole kid now. But just because you quit, it ain't mean everyone's gonna forget. That shit will live with her forever, bro. You should have never got in porn if you didn't want to live with the consequences. You gotta take accountability, man. You gotta take accountability. Porn is the reason why she's famous in the first place. And she's like, oh, I wish I never did porn. It's a double-edged sword. She got all the fame and the money, but she'll be known as a whore forever, bro. And when her son grows up, huh, oh my God, bro, her son about to be embarrassed, bro. I could only, I could only imagine. I could only imagine, man. Why am I jumping? Imagine you're her son going to school, and then he got his friend pulling up with his phone and said, hey, man. Isn't this your mom? No, my God, bro. I'd have to scrap, bro. I have to fight some man. I'm gonna have to, because I know all, all them kids at school are gonna make fun of my mom, disrespecting my mom. I'm gonna have to scrap, man. It's gonna be a bad if we walk into school every day. So I just can't imagine what he gonna go through. He probably gonna be end up homeschooled if you're gonna be honest. But anyways, man, let's go ahead and get to this video. Their really extreme acts were what was popular and that's why being the number one performer in the industry at the time, everyone wanted to make money off me so they pushed me to do these things. Mm -hmm. um, and it just gets really extreme, like you were saying, abusive. Um, Did you ever feel like- That's tough. Porn can get really, really extreme, man. I don't know how them niggas be doing all that shit. And the thing is like, guys will go ahead and try that in their bedroom to their girlfriends. Like, nah, bro, she ain't gonna like that shit. Unless she's some type of super freak, but she's not gonna like that shit because that shit's not normal. Guys, we should not normalize that extreme hardcore sex. It's not normal, y'all. The human body isn't meant to take that all the time. It's not. Did you ever go through those experiences where you had to do a scene where it was very aggressive? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to go into too much detail. Like, honestly, some of my experiences are really humiliating for me, and I wish that they never happened. There's stuff going on, like people getting pissed on, men are pissing inside. Ew, man, piss, pissing? Man, y'all nasty, man. Y'all gross. Why, why would you pee on a girl? She gonna, she, she gonna smell like, she gonna smell like pee. I don't want to be around her no more. Why would you pee on a girl, bro? <laughs> Imagine a girl that likes to get peed on. She, she like say, okay, pee on me, pee on me. She like forced you to pee on her and then you pee on her. And she's like, come give me a kiss. I said, bitch, I just peed on you. I ain't trying to kiss you. That's nasty. That, that shit nasty. You gonna pee on a girl and they, they expect to make love with her. She gonna smell like piss. ...of women's vaginas, assholes down there. there. Sorry. <laughs> oh, don't cry. <laughs> Damn, she crying? <sighs> I'm not trying, I ain't gonna try to sound like an asshole, man, but a part of me is not sorry for her because she chose to go in that life, man. She knew what she signed up for, so she gotta take some responsibility. But at the same time, going through it, I know it kind of up her mental. She's traumatized by certain events and she's triggered by certain words and memories and flashbacks. But at the same time, she did sign up for it. So in that regard, I'm not sorry for her, man. If I'm gonna keep it 100, I'm not sorry for her. She did sign up for it. She said she was pressured to do the hardcore scenes, but did she really have to? Did they have a gun that tore her head and said, bitch, you gonna do this shit or we gonna shoot your ass? You know what I'm saying? I don't think so. She could have said no and she could have just quit. She could have. She could have walked away. Unless there's something that was going on that I, I ain't know about. You know what I'm saying? But from my understanding, she could have walked away. So she does have to take some responsibility for her actions. It's just so important for young men to stop viewing, stop viewing women as sex objects because- Then y'all stop doing porn then. Stop making porn then. 
and stop being sex objects. Y'all, y'all literally make yourselves sex objects and then get mad at us when we view you guys as sex objects. If you don't portray yourself as a sex object, then we won't see you as a sex object. The more a young person had learned about the use of pornography from their school education or sex education is less likely to see women as sex objects. And I feel that's why, you know, I, I feel so passionate about the porn industry because- So she's saying me learning about porn and sex ed is going to make me not see girls as, as sex objects. If anything, that's just going to open me up to a whole new world of porn. And then I'll be watching hella porn just because I, I, learned, I learned about porn from sex ed. So I'm going to be curious. I'm going to search up some porn. Then I'm going to see all that. And then I'm going to even... <laughs> And I'm gonna even worse see all sex objects. You know what I'm saying? So like, where the where the logic in that? I don't believe that they should be showing those types of scenes because it does view women as just an object, and it's not okay to do that. Like I enjoy watching porn. Like girl, yeah, like I, I, you know. How the fuck is she gonna say all of that about porn, and then just to come out to say I enjoy watching porn? You're just telling us not to watch porn and not to. And not to look at girls as sex objects, but you're doing the same shit. You're doing the same shit. You say you love watching porn. Which one is it? What do you What do you want from me? What do you want from me? What do you want from us? But like, I want to watch ethical porn. I want it to be normalized, and I want it to be taught to where it shouldn't be, to where a woman is being abused and is, you know, like that the male is showing aggression because that actually is going to translate into his relationships with women in the future, his wife. Like, mm -hmm. it's actually statistically proven that it's going to show aggression in a marriage and a relationship. And that's, I mean, how is that healthy? That's not healthy at all. Well, okay, she did make a good point right there, though. If you watch a lot of aggressive porn, you're probably gonna want to try that in the bedroom. That's probably gonna be what turns you on in the bedroom too, and you're gonna want to try that with your sexual partner. Porn does messes with your mind in ways like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, a lot of it is like young boys don't understand, and they think that this is normal, and that's what girls want. So they yeah, that's not normal. That's not what girls want, y'all. I promise y'all. The stuff y'all see in porn is not what girls want. Y'all keep in mind, a majority of girls do not watch porn, and if they and if they do watch porn, they probably watch lesbian porn because they like the way the girls treat each other. I'm not gonna lie, I obviously, like I said, I watch porn. I do. Yeah, I mean, well, there's, there's nothing wrong with watching. Yeah, porn. but I stumbled upon some videos where I'm not gonna lie, I really questioned why is this even allowed on the internet. Like I felt very like I was just turned off. I was like, shut my laptop. Like I can't even look at this. I was like, I cannot believe that this is okay. Like you ever saw a video and like you masturbated to that video, right? And after you're done, you just felt sorry for yourself. Like, why did I even watch that? Have I really stooped to this level? Is this really where I'm going? Like, you know what I'm saying? That, that she just... Yeah. This is not okay to yeah. treat women like this. Yeah, well, I I know that I got emotional, but I do want to continue giving examples. I agree it's not okay to treat women like this, but y'all agree to go and do those scenes for the money because y'all know y'all get paid more for those extreme scenes. If it's not okay, then don't do the damn scene then. There was one scene where I had seen, um, obviously, that the male was having sex with a girl and... Um, she was literally crying because he was being so aggressive. Like, I guess, you know, he was just too big for her. I mean, she was like full blown crying and he was like slapping her. Like, you like that? Like, you know, I was just yeah. like, oh my God, how can this, like, I could not get off to this. I don't know who watches this too. Some people have that fetish and it's crazy. Yeah, and that's why insane. they put it out there because they're like, oh, somebody will watch it. They're the type of people that put the milk in before the cereal. Or, like, I can just see in her eyes that she did not want to do the scene, but she's doing it because of the reasons of, you know, she needs the money or this is a flexible job for her. I know she was convinced she was pressured. You know, she was manipulated into doing this by her agent because he, you know, told her like, it's either this way or the highway. Like, I can't even imagine how that girl felt having to do something that she clearly does not want to do. Go get a nine to five. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why go into something that is so harsh on you? Just go work a normal job. Yes, you have the money, but your soul is crushed. You're traumatized. You're going through shit. And you're for and you forever have the slut stamp on your back. When your ass could have got a nine to five job and worked your way up. So this is what they choose to do, and then at the end of it, they're coming to complain to us. Um, no, I've had friends who have been choked out so much that they've actually passed out during a scene. Damn, y'all niggas be giving the girls a death grip. Damn, bruh. Really, just like crazy stuff going on that damages people's bodies for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. I luckily don't have any issues, but I've seen scenes shot in Europe where. Guys are literally punching into a girl's asshole like this. God damn, bro. Y'all y'all people messed up, man. Y'all got nothing better to do with your life than to punch. What? That's, that's just messed up. And the fact that people would pay to see that, that's 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 crazy, bro. There's 7 billion people on this earth. I couldn't only imagine what they what y'all into. I'm like, she's going to have issues for the rest of her yeah, life yeah. due to this. And is it worth? Bro, imagine how big her ass. <laughs> Bro, just imagine how big her asshole is, bro. After all that punching. She taking permanent shits because it's just falling right up. You know what I'm saying? It's just falling right through. Like, she probably has to wear a diaper.
Because of y'all disgusting ass weirdos, man. She's taking shits for life, bruh. Constantly. With that white ass ass. With that white ass. With that white ass asshole, man. Shit crazy. Basically, this guy had a bowl and he like gagged me until I threw up into it. And then he like pissed in the bowl. And during the scene, he asked me to drink it. And I didn't know how to say no. It was one of the most disgusting, foul scenes. Just say no! Bitch, just say no! You didn't know how to say no? Let me show you. No! 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 I am not doing that! No! Then you walk away just like that. You nasty, man. What you? No! I'm telling a therapist this, and they don't even fucking know what to say to me. Yeah. yeah. No one can relate. Like, no one fucking knows what to say about it. Yeah, man. Imagine your therapist being shocked and not knowing what to say. <laughs> you want to hold another level of fucked up. Had to do something that you know you didn't want to do or you felt pressured. I definitely can relate to that just even by like working at Hooters. I know me and you have worked there. I obviously have a little longer history of that. And you know, I definitely was a sex object. Like, that's who I was viewed as working mm -hmm. at Hooters. You chose to work at Hooters. You chose to put yourself into that position, so. Clearly, I was the complete opposite of that. But, you know, I definitely was pressured into some things that I didn't want to do with men. Um, they had the audacity to ask me to literally go give them a hand job behind the dumpsters. Y'all hey, be getting freaky like that at Hooters? Bro, I, I know all this. This is this is new to me. I've been to Hooters one time. And I had some wings. Which was atrocious. Garbage. Dumpster juice. Elephant ass cheeks, bro. That shit was the worst wings I ever had in my entire life, bro. I took a bite of those wings. I wanted to burn the whole place down, bro. That shit, that shit was awful. Trash ass wings, bro. Don't ever get, don't ever get wings from Hooters. You no, know, but they would, they would push my limits. Like they would just kind of joke around at first. They're like, oh, um, and they, I'll give you a hundred sometimes too, you know? Yeah, and you know, they were like, oh, I'll give you a hundred dollars if you take off your panties for me. And you know, I was vulnerable. I was young. I was like, oh, like no harm. Like okay, like he just wants some panties. Like heck yeah, hundred dollars. Like, they're, they're gonna be like, yeah, they can push you. Put you and once they like put you on the spot, like it's so hard to like say no when you feel so awkward because you it's really not hard to say no, dudes. No, just say no. I will not take my panties off for you. No. So one thing we can take away from this video is to be responsible for your own actions. Know what you're going to and do not sell yourself out for some money. Okay. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I'll see you on the next one.